right, watch fans, guess what time it is. It's time for another watch review. And I hope you guys don't take it personally or get mad at me, but it is another uh, Jacques Le Mans, or as I like to say, Jack Hughes Le Mans. Um, sorry, I don't like to say that. I'm just kidding. But um, this one is very special to me. And I will say it looked cool when I bought it. <clears throat> it is named after my hometown, which I am very proud of. And you will see that as soon as I show it to you. So hopefully it lives up to the name. Uh, Jacques Lamont is a French company. And you will see in the video that I will show you in a bit. All right, let's see. Oh, man. That looks good. I'm liking it. This is the Jacques Lamont Miami. Or Miami. Depends on how you want to say it. It is so awesome. All right, let's watch this video uh, from my lovely wife. Jacques Le Mans is a quality mid-level watch company founded out of Corinthia, Austria. Originally founded in 1975, Jacques Le Mans has been in continuous operation for over 45 years. Although the name suggests or implies that it is the product of a man named Jacques Le Mans, in fact, the founder is named Alfred Riedel. In the early years of the company, Alfred would travel throughout Austria and Germany to negotiate deals with quality watch manufacturers. Through these manufacturers, he would sell rebranded merchandise under the Jacques Le Mans marquee. Alfred's ability to keep abreast of market trends allowed the company to not only survive the quartz crisis, but in fact find success in it. Today, Jacques Le Mans Limited cooperates with trading partners globally, but Jacques Le Mans watches are also sold in specific mono-branded stores in Austria. Since its foundation, Jacques Le Mans Limited has grown into an international corporation and is represented today in over 120 countries globally. The company offers a vast product range of over 650 models. While the majority of these use quartz movement, Jacques Le Mans also offers watches with an automatic and manual wind movement at their core. Jacques Le Mans Limited has been very successful in their commitment to professional sports, carrying several lines representing such organizations as EuroLeague Basketball, Austrian Football Organization, Formula One, and others. All right, guys, so now you know a little bit more about Jacques Le Mans, French watch company. Um, and I am, I don't want to say I'm secretly, but I am kind of a fanboy of the Jacques Le Mans brand. I've had several. Actually, let me go grab another. I've sold a bunch of them because I just have too many watches. But I will show you one of my favorites. Uh, for those who know or don't, I am a huge Formula One fan, and so I am having a hard time allowing myself to part with this bad boy. It's an F1 watch, right? What makes a watch an F1 watch is that it's got an F1 logo on it. That's about it. Um, because the F1 drivers don't have time or the weight to waste on wearing a watch in their cars. So, yeah, there's really no such thing as an F1 watch. But this... The Miami. Now, just real quick. Fancy pillow. Monogrammed. Awesome. Cool. Super awesome. Warranty card with no information. Because I got it from Gray Market. And uh, Jacques Le uh, logo. Yep, so that's not why you're here to see the packaging. But there you go. Put that to the side. So this watch I got for... Pretty expensive. I think it was under $60. I'll put that right up there, the old eBay auction, so you can see what it looked like. Um, I got this uh, fairly inexpensive. It is a much more expensive watch, if I'm not mistaken. The MSRP is around uh, 200 plus, but I'll also put that at the bottom so you can see it. Um, let's see, what else is there to talk about? It does not have um, a... It does not have a uh, sapphire crystal. It is coated, three-layer coated, just like uh, the, the Vengers. It's very nice. I don't know what kind of movement it has in it. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the movement because it looks like it is a very um, fairly small or uh, 
inconsequential. Let's see, what does it say in the back? Well, I don't know, but you know what? I'm gonna put the movement up here and I'll put some information about it. It looks, it's just a simple three hand with date. And then you got the course of the sliding date window. Now, um, I'm not really sure why this is called the Miami. Uh, if there's anything in particular, I mean, there's, there's leather. Uh, I don't even think, is this alligator? I guess it is. So, you know, that might work because we've got alligators there, but it really stood out to me. Of course, it came up from the name. Uh, and for those who know Miami, uh, Miami is just a, a magical place. It really is. If you can afford to live there, that is, right? I bought a house back in 2003 and I still have it. God forbid I will never sell it because I will never be able to afford to live <laughs> to buy a new house in that area. So I love that house and I will always keep it. And my daughter will get it if she can pay the taxes on it. But um, man, South Beach, you've got amazing beaches. Uh, Miami Vice, what a great show. I mean, what can I say? That is an awesome show. Love Miami Vice. Um, God, mojitos. I mean, you can't go wrong with a mojito. And, and there's there nothing like sitting on the the front stoop of the Clevelander or the, or the Congress or one of those other uh, um, uh, motels down the art, de or the art Deco district and smoking a cigar while drinking some cognac or a mojito. I mean, you just, man. And, and Lincoln Road, right, whether you're there for... Uh, you know, listening to the uh, Miami, uh, the 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 Miami Orchestra, or you're there to just hang out. I mean, gosh, Miami. So of course I saw this and I was like, you know what? I gotta do that because I'm from Miami, and uh, I thought this was very cool because the leather strap and and one thing about Jacques Lemaire that you'll always notice is that their leather straps are always integrated into the watch. It's not like um, this gorgeous Ingersoll that I have where it's got you know the um, the arms, right? And you just put the strap on or this super awesome mechanic quartz where you just have the strap on it like that, right? They, they always integrate their, their straps. So almost proprietary, right? Because if you don't have it, what do they do with the other one? This is the same thing, right? So if you don't actually have a strap for a for your specific watch, you're kind of in trouble because if you were going to replace this strap, you'd have to get one that was, I mean, let's, let's look at this. Would this even fit normal? It would look, that would fit, but it would be strange, right? I don't know that you would you'd have these, these blunt edges, but it's just kind of the style they go for. Uh, this watch was inexpensive enough that it was worthwhile, but I really like the look. It is sort of a nice deep chocolate, sort of uh, what we would call Havana leather. That's sort of the color. And this does look like gator, but although it is just genuine um, anti-allergenic uh, leather. Um, you can see it's even monogrammed at the bottom there. But very nice watch. Uh, this is a fixed bezel, so it doesn't move. But I just really like the fact that the leather, and this is, this is leather on the edge. And I'm not sure how it would, how it will stand up, but this probably isn't something that you would wear all the time. Uh, not certainly if you're going to go play soccer or something of the sort, but I just thought that that was really, really an interesting touch, how they matched the leather to uh, the side here of the watch. I think I thought it was really cool. And of course, um, Jacques Lemaire is monogrammed, um, not monogrammed, but embossed on the, on the crown. It is 20 ATM. So, of course, that's 200 meters or 20 bar for my uh, Canadian and European friends and pretty much everyone else other than those Americans. <clears throat> uh, 200 meters is excellent. You can do anything you want with that. You can do snorkeling. Although, let's be honest, you're not going to take this snorkeling. So it's kind of uh, pointless to make this a 20 ATM because I don't know that you would take this snorkeling in, a, uh, in the ocean. I mean, God forbid, I would not be wearing this uh, on South Beach, actually in the beach, unless I was just hanging out. Uh, let's see what else we can glean from the case back. Mm, not much to it. Stainless steel, 3 16th, sapphire coated crystal. <clears throat> and again, I'll put the uh, the movement up here. Uh, it is a standard three hand uh, with date. And I'll put the information at the bottom and I will take pictures and put that up after this video and apply it to this one. 
but uh, very nice watch. Um, let me take off this one. You know, let's let's do a a loom shot first. So nice bright loom. I kind of like that. How the um, of course you know where the date is on the right at the two, three, and four o'clock. You know it's it's shortened, but that kind of gives you better orientation. This date time is completely off, but that's okay. Um, again, I got a gray market, but I got it from a trusted gray market retailer. Um, I've bought from this guy before. I don't like to necessarily represent anybody because um, I'm not getting paid to do so, and, and uh, I don't want to be held responsible if somebody has a bad example. But if you're interested in where I got this from, I will share that information with you. But I really like this guy. I've gotten a bunch of my watches from uh, so I'm pretty happy. And I also bought a Jacques, uh, not a Jacques Lamar, a, uh, um, a Festina from him, so I should be getting that soon. But uh, very happy with this watch. It, it looks very nice. And uh, all right, let's do some measurements as well. Uh, I, it's kind of tough for me to be able to do this so I'll have to do this at sort of a an angle it won't it won't come out perfect lug width is kind of unimportant I suppose but I will still do it anyways the uh, case size is a good solid 50 I'm gonna say that's it says 49.2 but I, let's just call it 50 to be reasonable here uh, the lug width obviously doesn't matter much because you would need to get another one but it is 18 millimeter and the case depth is 15.6, so we'll say 15.5 just to be reasonable. Oh, no, look at that. Across the top, because it is domed, it's going to be 16. So we'll say 16 millimeters. Uh, let's weigh it. I haven't I haven't weighed a watch in a while. It's not very heavy, but uh, I do apologize. I've forgotten to weigh some of these. And I try and be consistent across my videos. But, you know. All right, come on. There we go. All right, this is in grams. Hundred and ten grams. So not bad. Good, good size watch. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Take off this. This is uh, I don't know, a Trenton or something. I really like this watch too. For this to work, very nice. Let's see what this looks like. This is a very nice watch. Leather strap feels good. It's already sized for my wrist, you know, where it's shaped like that. I love it. Looks really excellent. God, I love this watch. I'm wearing it tomorrow. You know, this is the hardest part about doing these watch reviews because I kind of started doing them as an excuse so that I would buy watches and then be like, oh, you know, I'm just doing it for the watch reviews. But you guys have been seeing that I haven't really been selling a lot of them. I mean, I sell some, but it's tough. It is tough. I will tell you what, like each one's a kid. I mean, not really, but man, I really like these watches and I just can't give them up. But there you go. Gorgeous. All right. If you uh, like this video at all, even slightly, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or thoughts on this watch, please leave them in the comments below. Very interested to know what you think about this watch or Miami or my cool shirts. Uh, or anything else that you want to talk about as long as it's appropriate and uh, doesn't involve, you know, violence, nudity, whatever. I don't know. Disclaimer. And uh, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. It makes it worthwhile. Thank you very much.